What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen, or tonight, or whatever the hell you want to say, Brad. We have breaking news coming out of the wrestling figure world community, whatever the hell you want to call that, Brad. We have some brand new looks and images of the new AEW action figures coming very, very soon. I cannot wait for these guys. They look freaking excellent. Let's go ahead and just dive right into it. They were announced on AEW Dynamite, I do believe. I wasn't watching tonight. You know, I was with family and stuff, so I did not watch tonight. I think it was announced on AEW Dynamite in Atlanta. I should have been there. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing, Brad. I mean, my God, it was like right down the road. But it was announced, and, you know, they showed a little preview. Ringside posted, you know, some of the, the photos of the actual talent holding the figures. Let's just go ahead and dive in, guys. We are taking a live look at the brand new Unrivaled Collection is what they're going to call it. So it's not Elite. It's not Ultimate. It is the AEW Unrivaled Collection. And you guys can see here on the screen, we are taking a look at Kenny Omega and and this, this is excellent, guys. You can see sort of the formula that they're going for for these figures. Um, shout out to the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast for these images or some of these images as well as Ringside as well as some other people. I think AEW owns some of these photos as well. I can't remember where I got them from, but... Huge shout out to Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. Looking at Kenny Omega, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at him first. I love what they're doing with these. It kind of reminds me uh, reminds me of the old Toy Biz, isn't it? Toy Biz figures that we've seen in the past where we have the double jointed arms, we have the signature hands, we have the Ultimate Edition sort of Mattel style torso, and then uh, we are going to be getting double jointed knees. We got the ankle articulation right there. I am freaking in love with the, with the articulation that we're getting. It looks like we're going to have a ton of articulation on these guys. I love that every single figure has double jointed knees and arms. I think that is excellent. I love the, uh, you know, I'm not big on Ultimate Edition torsos just because I don't feel that it really maximizes the range on the on the torso. I feel like, you know, some of the ab crunch from Elite figures from Mattel probably have better articulation as far as that is concerned. But as far as this is the base, I think I can trade a little bit of ab crunch for double jointed arms. I really enjoy double jointed arms. They're so beautiful, so freaking nice. So here is Kenny Omega, guys. I think that the signature hands are great. You know, it's not my favorite head sculpt. I don't think the head sculpt is just freaking spot on, but it is a great start, and I think that it's going to be cool to see if, you know, maybe you can pop that on a Mattel figure or something like that. That'll be really interesting, but uh, it does look like they're going to come with interchangeable hands because in one of these photos, he has two trigger hands or gun pointing hands, and then in the other photo, he has sort of a relaxed hand, I think, so... That's pretty cool. I think that's out, or a mic holding hand, whatever you want to call that. I think it's cool. I love that they gave him a, a sculpted belt. I think this is just so great. Uh, one thing I will say is I don't like the little, you know, uh, holes in the shoulders, but I know that's sort of like a like a little design option that they really can't get around. So there's just the way they made that. Um, that is uh, that is kind of a bummer, but it looks to me like these are going to be in scale with Mattel figures. I don't know about you guys, but uh, they look excellent. I think they look great. We're going to dive into the rest of the figures real quick, though, uh, but this is a great attire. I think it's funny how the first series I nailed to a T in my little video, except for Brandy Rhodes. We do have a Brandy Rhodes figure, except uh, I said John Moxley. We got Brandy Rhodes, but I did nail the rest of them and some of their accessories, so they, I think that's pretty freaking sick, uh, the, but the, we do get the pink and black attire, which looks so good. Again, I think these are going to scale with WWE Elite figures. So, moving on, guys, we do also have Cody, and Cody looks so good, man. I, I really love this Cody figure, and I also think it's kind of odd that his head sculpt for this new Unrivaled figure looks like his Elite 32 figure. If you guys look at that, if you look at his head sculpt, I don't know what it is. It just kind of gives off that likeness of the Elite 32 Cody Rhodes. I love this attire. I think that's excellent. He is going to come with a sledgehammer, so I thought that was cool. I nailed that in our our predictions video for accessories and stuff like that. I love the boots. I think they nailed it to a complete T. The full thing you even got the weight belt in there. And there's a look at Brandy as well with Cody. And I just think that both of these look great. I think Brandy looks great. I think that she looks really good. And you guys can see by Brandy's figure that women's figures are also going to have thigh cut. They're also going to have wrist articulation. They're also going to have double jointed arms. They have bicep rotation. And uh, that head sculpt looks just like Brandy. And I think it looks great. Great. I love the molds they got going. So that's really big, man. 
man. I think that's so excellent that, that all the figures are going to have the double jointed arms. They're going to have the double jointed knees. Let's move on to the rest of the figures in the wave, guys. We also have the AEW champion, Chris Jericho, and he looks great. I love the pissed off face you got going on. It looks like Jericho to me. He also is going to include the AEW championship as well as a microphone, and he has his tattoos on there. Not Probably not all the tattoos, obviously, but I can zoom in, and I can see the Jason hockey mask. I can see the Canadian flag. I can see his outer arm tattoo. I know his Fozzie tattoo will be there because we've seen that before. The AEW microphone looks great, and this just really just looks so cool, man. I, I'm so hyped for these. I think these are badass. I, I am super excited for these, and I'm sure we'll get even better images of these guys in the next few days. But They may even be released now by the time you're seeing this video, but I think that these all look great. I'm really excited for them. They kind of remind me of like a hybrid between Toy Biz, Jax, and Mattel. It's kind of weird. It's like they're all three together here, but the final two figures in the set, it looks like we are going to get six figures in the set. We have Kenny Omega, Chris Jericho, Brandy, and Cody, and then we have the Young Bucks. So it looks like the Unrivaled Collection from Wicked Cool Toys, who is the designer and creator. Uh, Wicked Cool Toys and Jazzware are coming together. We announced it like a week and a half ago, and then we, you know, we predicted what Series 1 and 2 would look like for AEW figures. This is uh, what's come to fruition here, and it looks like they're going to have six figures in their wave as well as, you know, what we see from Mattel in the Elite figure line, and I think they look great, guys. The last two figures are the Bucks, and we have Matt and Nick Jackson in their white gear. I can't remember if that was double or nothing. I think that was double or nothing or all out. I think it was double or nothing, though. Really enjoy these two. I think the arms may be a little bit too skinny, maybe, but I mean, I like the head sculpts. I think they look just like them. You know, they're not perfect by any means, but I think they're a great start. Um, I love the way they did everything. It looks like everybody's probably going to be on ball joints. I can't wait to feel them in hand. You know, I really, I think that's going to be the big deal. You know, once we get them in hand, how how loose are the joints? How good do they feel? Do they feel cheap? Do they feel high quality? Do they feel like they're going to smash in half like the Jax figures used to at some points? But overall, dude, these look great. Oh yeah, we still have one more image of an AEW ring. It looks like we are going to get two different rings actually. We're getting a basic ring, and it looks like we're going to get a bigger, larger scale ring. And I'm guessing that Wicked Cool Toys is going to make this, you know, the same one that we got from WWE in the past. I'm pretty sure we're going to get the same thing here, as you guys can see. Um, and the scaling looks well. I mean, it looks like it's going to scale just like the WWE figures did with the Wicked, you know, the Wicked Cool Toys scale ring. Um, I think that, uh, again, man, the head sculpts look pretty good. I think that the likeness is there. I think this is a great foundation for more waves to come. And again, these are called the Unrivaled Collection from AEW, Wicked Cool Toys, and Jazz Wares, all coming together here. Uh, again, just really, really excited for it. Uh, I, I could have sworn I had a picture of uh, any... I, I plugged it in the video. I'm just trying to look at it on my phone right here. But overall, really, really strong first set. I think that it's going to be terrific. Um, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. But overall, man, the just I think that everything that's coming together right here, I think everything's going to work out great. Again, I think the scaling, I think it would be a really big missed opportunity if they do not scale these with WWE Elites, Ultimates, whatever you want to call it. But basically, they're Ultimate Edition figures um, of all of these guys from AEW. I mean, that's basically what it is if you want to relay it to the Mattel line. Um, similar torso, you got the double-jointed arms, you got the double-jointed knees interchangeable hands. Uh, it doesn't look like any of them have interchangeable head sculpts at this juncture. No cloth t-shirts, but maybe that will be to follow. You know, we only see the AEW microphone. We only see the sledgehammer and the championship. Uh, I'm sure some cloth shirts or entrance stuff will come and follow, but overall, man, just really strong stuff. I'm, I'm really digging it. Uh, if anything, if anything were, were to be docked a couple points, I'd probably say just the little shoulder divots, the little peg divots in the shoulders, and then probably some of the head sculpts aren't perfect. You know, it doesn't look like they have that realistic true effects technology applied to it just yet, or at least at this juncture. But the sculpt is good. I think the sculpt is good, and it's a great foundation for what is to come and what will follow. Um, you got some grimacing head sculpts. You got some regular resting faces. And just overall, I really couldn't tell you which one's my favorite. I think if I had to pick, it would probably be Cody or Kenny. I think those are 
one of my favorites or, or my two top ones. I just think they probably look the best. But it's so epic, man. We're finally getting Kenny Omega, Young Bucks, and all these guys finally in figure form. Can you imagine Series 2 with John Moxley? Can you imagine Series 2 with Darby Allin, MJF, Luchasaurus? I mean, the possibilities and everything are freaking endless, and I can't wait to see more images of these guys at New York Toy Fair. I know they're going to have the ring set up. They're going to have the basic ring set up. They're going to have all the different accessories, everything these figures are going to come with, I'm sure. And we may even get a sneak peek look into Series number 2 for the Unrivaled Collection. We'll just have to find out this weekend. Come New York Toy Fair, which is in a couple days. Days. I think it's three days away or two days away, so that is epic, man. The 22nd of February coming, New York Toy Fair is going to show us more, so uh, we are going to... Uh just get some excellent excellent stuff. And not only do we get stuff from AEW, we're going to get Mattel WWE figures shown off. So big news coming this weekend, guys. We're probably going to have like a 30-minute video talking about all the epic ish we're going to get this weekend. We're going to cover all of it here on the channel. So be sure to make sure that your bell's on so that we can get in here and cover all of that action figure news so you guys can stay tuned. But AEW figures are shown off. They look fantastic. I'm excited. You should be excited. Everyone should be excited. This is freaking sick, nasty farticles. Everybody that it's been, you know, we, we wanted all these figures for so long. We've made endless customs, and now it is finally here, guys. And now we get to make customs out of these figures that we get. So, I mean, it's just a great day. But anyways, guys, if we get any more news, we get any more, you know, images or anything like that, I will definitely put them up to you guys. But let me know what you think of all these guys down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.